Well, we had a good time in Nashville, but again, we're chasing the weather. Mr. Winter did not want to give up on us, and I see stuff. see the Nashvillians oh and eat Get away from the snow. There isn't any snow. snow. <laughs> More fatness. Why do you think Michigan is all snow? <laughs> well, it is, but what? I grew up there. Yummy. Four thing, four little pastries. Oh, you said you were done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and even, I don't even like, like sweets. Was that from Paula Dean? Like this one's like. Paula Dean, and the one that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was Paula Dean. <laughs> Did you eat it? I made it like three. I had I ate one. All of it. <laughs> it was very good. You. We are seriously gonna have to walk this off. Boy, good though. We are on our way into the Carter House. Ever since I was a kid, I read a book. I wasn't a kid, I was younger. I read a book by James McPherson called Battle Cry of Freedom about the Civil War. And since then, I can't get enough of it. We are about to go to some really cool places today. Very stoked about that. Yeah, so we're if someone finds one on site, we have to take it. No. Because the state of Tennessee owns the land, we maintain the property. They don't even give us enough money to mow the yard all year long. Fountain Branch Carter completed construction of the house in 1830. The federal style brick farmhouse was accompanied by several other outbuildings such as the farm office, smokehouse, and kitchen. In the 1850s, Carter built a cotton gin on his property that became a much remembered landmark during the Second Battle of Franklin in 1864. Though the cotton gin no longer stands, the house and the other three buildings are still intact and illustrate the horrors of the Civil War battle with over a thousand bullet holes still visible. John McGavick was 46 when the Civil War began and was too old to enlist, but he helped outfit and organize groups of Southern soldiers. Carrie, John's wife, contributed to the war efforts by sewing uniforms for relatives and friends. As the war got closer to home, John McGavick sent most of his slaves to Louisiana so they wouldn't be taken by federal authorities. When federal troops took control of Middle Tennessee and learned of McGavick's efforts to aid the South, they took thousands of dollars worth of grain, horses, cattle, and timber from the plantation. On November 30, 1864, 
Carton became the largest temporary field hospital for attending the wounded and dying after the Battle of Franklin. The home was situated less than one mile from the location of the activity that took place on the far Union eastern flank. More than 1,750 Confederates lost their lives at Franklin, and on Carton's back porch, four Confederate generals' bodies, Patrick Selburn, John Adams, Otho F. Strahl, and Hiram B. Granberry were laid out for a few hours after the battle. The McGavnicks tended to as many as 300 soldiers inside Carton's alone. Though at least 150 died the first night, hundreds more were spread throughout the rest of the property, including in the slave cabins. Carrie McGavick donated food, clothing, and supplies to care for the wounded and dying, and witnesses say her dress was blood-soaked at the bottom. Carrie's two children, Haiti, then nine, and son, Winder, then seven, witnessed the carnage as well, providing some basic assistance to the surgeons. And after the war, McGavick continued to farm Carnton until sharecropping arrangements with former slaves until his death in 1893. Mr. Winter did not want to give up on us, but I'll just show you around real quick, trying to get this thing packed up in the rain. And I was going to climb up on top, so I'm going to take a look on here and see if I need to look at that. Nashville, Tennessee. I liked Knoxville, Tennessee a little bit better. I guess there was less people when it was big of a city. The KOA campground in Nashville was like, I don't know, Jellystone National Park. Lots of crap. It was. Keep left. Half a mile, I gotta keep left here. Hold on. So it's raining. And truck drivers are like maniacs. Maniacs! Billion cars on the road, but we are doing 65. But tr truck drivers are pack passing us like we're standing still. Insane! How do they get licenses? I don't know. And they've already had one highway that's been shut down because a semi went over. And then as we were driving out. This guy had to get around me. Yeah, now he's getting off. Now he's getting off. Anyway, Another car we saw off down into a ditch just by itself. Sputter RB. The weather has been strange. We don't get a lot of rain, but we did name the RB rain. Yacho. Yocha. Yocha. And so now we're dealing with rain. The RB held up besides me breaking the awning. I broke it. I'm sure you saw that in the other video. I'm still mad at myself. That's My wife thinks it's funny because she poked a hole in our last RV. <laughs> so it makes me happy that I'm not the first one that broke something. Actually, you broke the little rubber thing. On I the... fixed that. I know, but you still broke it first. Anyway, yes, I did. What else have you broken? I don't know. I got to see my daughter. I'm very happy about that. I certainly do miss her, and she's on her drive back up to Michigan. Yeah. I talked to my mom. She said there was snow on the ground, so we did make the right decision by uh, coming to Nashville instead of heading up to Michigan. Unfortunately. We're uh, going to get up there one of these times. We've tried now twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. So... We did get to see some cool antique places in Nashville, a distillery. It was made of butter. It was butter and 
salt fat and calories and it was all beautiful deliciousness yeah there were weight washers outside the restaurant with protest signs <laughs> oh my god it was so good it was good food it was i didn't like the collard greens though those were good um, it tastes like um spinach spinach but strong really spinach. strong like kind of bitter um i have a friend that said that if you cook them in like i'm sure there were bacon it was bacon you cook them in butter well, I'm sure there was butter in it as well. It's Paula Dean. You can't have enough butter. Yeah. I thought it was so good. The mac and cheese and the dumplings. The meatloaf, better than any meatloaf I've ever, I've ever had. Sorry, Mom. Yes, um, that was good. But the meatloaf was outstanding. I want to jump back to the KOA real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. That, no, it's fine. That KOA was too close to the highway, too close to a mechanics workshop. You could hear tools, hammering. But we have found that most KOAs are right off the freeway. They are. Which is kind of the reason why people don't like to go to KOAs. That's right. So, it's just a choice. Um, we like KOAs because of the hookups and the laundry facilities. And usually a dog run. And usually a dog area where you can let the dogs get out and go. We are strict leash dog parents um, unless we're well, my brothers they oh, were free in heaven. Um, and they 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 were in heaven uh, we're just concerned about other dogs for some reason our dogs are uh, all of know, a sudden out of the blue yeah they've been a little sketchy um in, not angry um i think it's the leashes the collars that uh, oh, i don't know yeah they weren't like that with um with who my dog's brother or my dog's brother my brother's dog they were not aggressive or anything and in fact we're they more were scared, scared. Yeah. yeah but um since we've had them on leashes out at some of the campgrounds they they're very aggressive and i, I can't figure it out all right well i guess we'll reconnect whoa the traffic is so backed up on the other side i am so glad that we're driving down this side of the road man that is awful what are you on me like this about let's see what's going on here do you want me to put the uh, tires and wheel chips in no nah. no nah.
And just in case you guys are wondering, we do not spoil our dogs at all. We just try and get some of the hair off when we can. Oh, look at where we're at. This is crazy. <laughs> Not really. That's our TV. <laughs> we're here. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. Why didn't they put the dog park here <laughs> instead of in the mud? I don't know. <clears throat> did you, let, let it, go. it gets worse going in. Did you go in there? I did. Like I went in. Although I have to say I had to go around this way. This way is now look. It's drying up a little more? It's, it is. Come here Lois Fisher. So yeah, go up for the high ground. Ah. Hi, it's me, I got a hat on. Leaving, what city is this? Fort Smith. Actually, we're in Salisaw. 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 Oklahoma, leaving the Koa campground. <laughs> That's what Google calls it, Koa. Turn left Road. into US 59 North, South Purple. It's a miracle that you and I are finally here. That one of my favorite. Yeah, no, I'm not doing anything. Which way? Do it to find north. Keep riding the floor. Uh, it's by far the windiest day I think we've ever driven. Ever? Those alpacas are cute. It's okay. I'm pretty sure you're safe. Hey. 
No. You're asking me how many things have I done that just brought up something. I'm walking in your garden, knowing what you're dreaming of.